hello guys welcome to our online platform and today we are going to look at the microscopes uh, last week we introduced the concept called the optical instruments and uh, these are instruments we said these are instruments that work on a principle of refraction and the reflection of light rays uh, we also listed a number of optical instruments among which a microscope was. So our objective today is looking at the microscopes and deriving its angular magnification. Uh, to remind you a bit, last week we still looked at a number of terms that are used in optical instruments where we looked at the near point, uh, the visual angle, the least distance of distinct vision, and we also looked at the angular magnification of an optical instrument, or you can call it the magnifying power of an optical instrument. So a case in point today we are looking at a microscope as an optical instrument. Now microscopes, these are optical instruments that are used to view nearby objects and they are categorized into two there is what we call a simple microscope and a compound microscope okay and today we are going to look at the simple microscope the compound microscope we shall look at at it next week uh, let us look at a simple microscope in normal adjustment. Now, when a microscope is going to be used, there are some adjustments that have to be made. Uh, we are looking at a simple microscope in normal adjustment. What does this mean? A microscope in normal adjustment simply means that the image will be formed at the near point. As you can see from the diagram there, the image has to be formed at the near point. Then for a simple microscope, not in a normal adjustment, then the image will be formed at infinity, as we shall see in our next video. So let us look at a simple microscope in normal adjustment. As I've said, this is where the image is formed, at the near point. Let us look at our diagram. Very well. Uh, we can see that the image is formed at the near point. This image is simply virtual, erect, and it is magnified. Now, when dealing with the microscopes, we are not interested in forming inverted images and the diminished images. So, that's why we can see that our object our object is placed at a distance less than the focal length of the convex lens. So, to remind you a bit, when we looked at the convex lens and the diverging lens, for this case, microscopes use convex lens. So, whenever you want to form an image that is magnified and erect, then the object has to be placed at a distance less than the focal length of the convex lens. So whenever you place the object at a distance less than its focal length, the image has to be virtual, erect, and magnified. That's why the, the eye here, the observer, can clearly see the image. Uh, whenever you place this object at a distances greater than its focal length, then the image will be real, inverted, and uh, at some cases diminished, and at some cases magnified. But we are interested in forming erect images. Erect. That's why the object has to be placed at a distance less than the focal length of the convex lens. So let us try to derive the magnifying power 
of a simple microscope in a normal adjustment. Now, when you happen to look at uh, triangle, triangle I, B, C. Look at triangle C, I, and B. We have the height of the image H1. And still in that triangle, we can see angle alpha prime. Alpha prime. This is the angle subtended at the eye by the final image when the instrument is being used. Okay? Now, mathematically, mathematically, using trigonometry, we can see that tan of that angle alpha prime is equal to IB out of IC, okay? Of which our IB is represented by a height H1. Then IC, we can see that it is represented by a distance, capital D. This distance, capital D, is the least distance of distinct vision where the image can be clearly seen, okay? So, tan alpha prime is equal to IB over IC, the opposite over the adjacent. IB represented by H1, then IC represented by capital D. Now, tan alpha prime approximates alpha prime, the angle, for small angles in radians okay for small angles in radians tan alpha prime approximates the angle alpha prime for small angles in radians what does this mean this implies that our tan alpha prime approximates alpha prime equals to h1 over d so alpha prime will equal to h1 out of d so that is from triangle i b c but remember angular magnification in uh, in last week's lesson we said angular magnification is simply the ratio of the angle subtended at the eye by the final image when the instrument is being used to the angle subtended at the eye by the object when the instrument is not used. So let us look at the case where I'm not using the instrument. What is that angle? We are calling it alpha. This alpha prime is the angle subtended at the eye when the instrument is being used. So we want to look at the angle that will be subtended at the object when the instrument is not used so that we can get the ratio of those two angles okay now let us look at that diagram now here is the diagram uh, when you happen to look at this diagram uh, I'm using a naked eye to observe a certain object so the angle alpha is the angle subtended at the eye when the instrument is not being used okay so still we can see that triangle connecting d alpha and the height of the object still mathematically mathematically we can still use a tan tan of that angle alpha is equivalent to h out of d okay still tan alpha approximates alpha for small angles in radians okay so this will simplify to instead of using tan alpha approximating alpha we are now going to say alpha will equal to h 
out of capital D. Still D, DCD is the least distance of distinctive vision where the object can clearly be seen by the eye. As I've said, it approximates to 25 centimeters. Now, this is alpha. Alpha is the angle represented at the eye when the instrument is not used. Then we have seen that uh, we have seen that uh, alpha prime is the angle subtended at the eye by the final image when the instrument is being used. So, how can I get now the magnification? Remember last week we said magnification magnification of an optical instrument is always equal to alpha prime over alpha where alpha prime is the angle subtended by the image at the eye when the instrument is being used and this alpha is the angle subtended at the eye by the object when the instrument is not in use now since we have alpha prime and alpha let us substitute in this equation of ours magnification will now become alpha prime we saw that it was h1 out of capital d and we are dividing it by alpha alpha we have seen that it is h out of d simplifying this simplifying that our magnification now reduces to h1 out of h that is the height of the image divided by the height of the object now we have seen that our magnification m is equal to h1 over h but but still magnification is equal to v over f minus 1 when you simplify the lens formula magnification can still be equal to v over f minus 1 so i want to, to simplify this in terms of v and f the image distance and the focal length of the lens that you have used so our magnification is equal to v over f minus 1 uh, in this case our v will be the capital d that is the image distance from the lens so this reduces to still magnification is equal to now capital d out of f that is the focal length of the lens being used minus one this is what we call the magnifying power of a simple microscope in normal adjustment thank you for watching